right, in 2025, we are going to be going back to Black Ops 2. Because a new leak has just dropped from Insider Gaming that says that Call of Duty 2025... And to make the situation sound even better, Bobby Kotick is officially no longer the CEO of Activision Blizzard. <laughs> Today was his final yeah, day as CEO, and these are all the content that were uh, obviously the the AAA, the mainline, the 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 stuff that we cover primarily on the channel, right? This is gonna be happening in 2024 and 2025. We got GTA 6. Call of Duty 2024, new Battlefield game is already confirmed as well. PlayStation 5 Pro is leaked, but we're hearing it's gonna happen by the end of 2024. And if we truly get GTA 6, like early 2025, man, it would be crazy. 20 Call of Duty 2024, and then we're gonna be having Black Ops 2 remake, uh, remake, not remaster. It's gonna have remaster maps, but remake in 2025, though. I think I think the next two years are gonna be really really good. Past two sequels. Li like if you agree, dislike if you disagree. We've not even got full blown details about Call of Duty 2024, but we know that is gonna be a Black Ops game set in the 90s, and it seems just like with Modern Warfare 3, we're gonna be getting another Black Ops game a year later, which is gonna serve as a sequel, but also the direct sequel to Black Ops 2. Now, if this oh, is all true fun. straight away, this is one of the most exciting <laughs> Call of Duty games I think we've heard of in the last. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm shaking. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking. shaking. And did you know we are watching and checking out a video from the homie Dalek? Who loves shaking? The last time he shook was when we actually saw the reveal of Black Ops Cold War. And ladies and gentlemen, I know we say this every year. I know some of you are probably like ready to type. You're ready to your like skill. <laughs> you, you say the same every year. Man. Nah, listen, we're, we're like, like, guys, I get it. I get it. I did not buy Modern Warfare 3 though. But this, if this game, if Call of Duty 2024 is good, and if Call of Duty 2025 is good, I'm down for it, right? Because dog you cannot mess black ops 2 up you cannot make mess black ops 2 up and especially uh phil spencer now taking over bobby codex leaving the company might we might see some positive changes at least a brother can hope right decade so if you're excited by this news you need to let me know by kicking that thumbs up going yeah, into the specifics like, here like inside the, the gaming like says share, that they have like learned from multiple sources that 2025's call of duty game is set to take us in the very slight future code name for the game is called saturn and that it is currently in development as a direct sequel to call of duty black ops 2 being set around the year 2030 and we know that in black ops the only thing that's gonna be saddened about this Call of Duty game is its size, okay? It's gonna be 300 gigabytes, okay? 300 gigabytes! And you seconds know that! You know that! Don't cap to me! Don't cap to me! You know that! Uh, eh, 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 You know for the fact that that BBC bundle is gonna be 200 gigs and 100 gigs is just gonna be the game game size, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Cops 2, that was set around 2025. So this is five years later and they say as such, fans should expect the return of some fan favorite protagonists as the team faces Dang. a new villain following the death of Menendez. Now this is- Yo, okay, this is, uh, this is gonna sound really bad. Okay, so follow the death of Menendez, right? Guys, uh, I wanna show you something real quick, okay? If I can find it. So Charlie until just uh, talked about it the other day, right? I'm gonna scroll down and he talked about Menendez, right? Guys, the actor behind Raul Menendez in Call of Duty has passed away. <gasps> After a brief battle with, uh, I'm not sure if I can say that on YouTube, he was 56 and he was behind, uh, obviously, Roman and is in Black Ops 2. That is crazy. So maybe we're gonna see some of his work in the upcoming Call of Duty 2024 and maybe even in Call of Duty 2025. I'm not sure though. And I, I think maybe he worked a little bit. If he, if he was supposed to be in Call of Duty 2024, then I think we're gonna see some of his work in it. But if he is supposed to be, because I do believe that he's going to be in Call of Duty 2025, or at least they were thinking about it, maybe he's not going to be, right? Because he recently passed away. RIP to the man, man. RIP to the homie. 
um, maybe they're going to sign somebody else now. Really, really interesting because as we know with next year's Black Ops game set in the 90s, there is also the chance that it can jump ahead in time as well to the 2000s, the 2010s, and maybe even right now in our current time and essentially be a game that tells us a ton of story, but also sets it up for the direct sequel that will come a year later. Now we need to talk about multiplayer and zombies because Insider Gaming has already given us some exciting details on this and for zombies... Yay! I'm shaking, bro. Oh, oh I'm shaking. I'm, sh <laughs> I'm shaking, bro. I honestly, Black Ops Cold War. Black Ops Cold War reveal time was so precious. It was so good. Because Black Ops Cold War was the last Call of Duty game that I was ridiculously and insanely excited for. It wasn't the best Call of Duty game, but I, I play here and there. I've, I've been playing like Nuketown 24-7 and it's actually really, really good. But the last best Call of Duty was no doubt Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 3 Zombies was my most favorite and something that I really, really know life. Obviously, I know life Black Ops 2 uh, Zombies as well, but Black Ops 3 Zombies, man, it was... It was crazy good, dog. It was good. That shit was busting, you feel what I'm saying? And the last Call of Duty was that I was really excited for was Black Ops Cold War. And it did not live up to the expectations. But now looking back, it's actually... It was a solid package, though. It was a solid package. I'm not talking about this uh, BBC package, guys. So, come on, man. This game is going to feature another year of round-based zombies. So, Wait, if what? zombies... Game is going to feature another year of round-based zombies. Yo. So, if there was any doubt... Out that next year's Black Ops game won't contain round based zombies, it absolutely will. And the game that follows it is rumored to also. The real question is that will it have a pausing button though? Will it actually have a pausing button? Because these suckers are so incompetent that even in Call of Duty Van Garbage, they had. They couldn't even put a pausing button. Bruh. This or that we cannot. And I'm talking about like the devs. The devs, guys, listen, man. I love the devs. You, you guys know I love Stop them. the cap. You guys know I love the devs. Come on, man. I appreciate every hardworking devs out there. But you're telling me that Infinity Tart, we don't like it. We don't like them no more, okay? We don't like. Like and subscribe. Don't if don't Infinity Tart. Tart should never make another Call of Duty game because they be they be ruining every Call of Duty game that they touch. But dog, no cap, these suckers couldn't even put a pausing button in zombies. Meanwhile, we had the you guys remember uh, Call of Duty 2008 World at War? It had zombies for the first time, and guess what? It had a pausing button. I I know. Oh my god. I know, crazy. Oh my god. I know some of the craziest thing ever, right? We had a pausing button in 2008, but these brothers couldn't even put that in, in, in Call of Duty 2021. That came out 13 years after. I'm talking about Call of Duty Van Garbage, uh, also known as Van Garbage, right? right? And then after people and players complained, they were like, okay, we're gonna give you two hours, bro. And they added two hours of pausing feature in Call of Duty vanguard you know what i'm saying uh and modern warfare 3 zombies you can only play for one hour but stickers are saying it's fun it, it doesn't it lacks content it doesn't have any new map obviously it's you're playing zombies on warzone and i do like the idea of playing because we even had in black ops cold war right we had onslaught i believe that's what it was called you can play zombies on the actual multiplayer maps i like this idea but when we have core zombie maps and then we can have that uh, multiplayer maps and Warzone map as a bonus where we can play on multiplayer maps and Warzone map. I like the idea, don't get me wrong, but can a brother get like one new map? Come on, man. Come on, bro. So continue on round based zombies with another year of those maps and another year of storyline. So we are you essentially agree? getting a year two for whatever the next Black Ops Zombies game is with this 2025 game, which is nothing but a W in my eyes. There's the details about multiplayer, which also opens so many doors to what we could see with zombies, because as was previously rumored, every single multiplayer map from Black Ops 2 was going to be completely remastered and put in the game as the launch multiplayer maps, just like we saw with MW3, but apparently recent plans and the scope of the game have changed significantly. The plan now is to launch the game with both new maps and remastered Black Ops 2. <laughs> what? New maps? New maps? I never heard that before, bro. Come on, man. I gotta do this. I never heard of that before, dog. New man, you kidding me right now? 
back to it. Are you kidding me, man? Uh, obviously, they did say we're gonna be getting um, or the the leaks are saying we're gonna be getting remaster maps. So Black Ops 2 remaster maps. And listen, I'm a fan of Black Ops 2. I want to see Black Ops 2 remaster, but I don't want it to be a thing where they call it, for example, the recent Modern Warfare 3 2023 that we got, right? Bruh. They call it brand new. Charging people shady dollars, but it's nothing but recycled content. I don't like that. I want to see a full-blown Black Ops 2 remaster. Give me a real remaster. Call it Black Ops 2 remaster, and you can charge like 40 or 50 bucks. Charge m appropriately. Price it appropriately. Like the video if you agree. But now we're here, and we're gonna be getting some uh, new, <laughs> some new maps. And the entire reason they are saying we're gonna have some new maps is because of how badly Modern Warfare 3 bombed, dog. And uh, we're not sure how many new maps we're gonna get. Are we gonna get like one new map? Are we gonna get two new maps? Are we gonna get four? five because i don't think we're gonna get like uh, more than uh, six new maps at least at the very beginning maps in conjunction insider gaming explains that although only one source would comment on the change it was speculated that the game was likely in response to widespread criticism that painted mw3 as a glorified dlc now you all know mw3 had a troubled development time of only 16 months but this game in its current early stage of development is still 22 months away meaning there is a lot more time on this but it's crazy to think that Treyarch have been cooking and working on the Black Ops game next year. No, 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 bro. Like, just stop with that cooking trash, bro. Like, everybody, everywhere I look, everyone is like, yo, cooking. Let them cook, bro. Let them cook, bro. What are they cooking? Tell me one thing they're cooking. Tell me one thing that sounds delicious right now. I know, like, these leaks are actually sounding very, very good, uh, to Bruh. be honest. And 2024 and 2025, I think this is gonna... Okay, no jokes. Like, okay, jokes and memes aside. I think 2024 and 2025 would be a good year. I really not. Come on, guys. Like, stop with that, bruh. How many times are you gonna do that, bro? Uh, I do believe that 2024 and 2025 will be a good good year I, I at least i hope guys at least i hope i mean gta 6 banger i mean gta 6 alone is gonna carry 2025 and 2020 sheiks hard and 2024 i think it's gonna be a really solid year for the hype for gta 6 Call of Duty 2024, and even the next Battlefield game, and EA is gonna do their investor call on, I believe, January the 30th, 2024, I will surely livestream, so hit the bell, and PS5 Pro, I think we're gonna start to hear about it right after March, uh, or maybe around June, July time, uh, I think they're gonna, they're gonna wanna market this, if this baby is really coming out by the end of 2024, like we're hearing, they probably wanna market early 2024, or maybe mid, 2024 and they're eventually gonna reveal and we're likely gonna get the trailer too albeit that we might not see the GTA 6 trailer too by like September of 2025 Bruh. guys it'd be like that sometimes but I think 2025 or 2024 and 2025 should be solid years for for hype and also seeing these games come out as well for four years but they may have also been cooking up and at least helping to develop this next black ops 2 sequel game for 25 so when leakers say that Treyarch have been cooking then they really Bruh, come on man like stop with that cooking crap bro like they might mean it crash. and the fact they also managed to develop and create modern warfare zombies whilst juggling all of that is absolutely insane inside of gaming mentions that it's understood that the game is slated to have an overhaul to its movement system seeing how we don't even know what black ops golf wars movement system is going to be like that's pretty crazy the return of the classic pick 10 creator class which is amazing because i loved it in black ops 2 and if it's a direct sequel it makes complete sense to have your pick 10 w in my opinion w or l in your opinion let me know boys i would say w bro if it ain't broke don't fix it right but infinity tart would be like <laughs> we gotta change the map we gotta change the map and call it no map and that's brand new content bro Bruh. that's brand new content bro that's how infinity tard is i honestly hope that infinity tard just get to make campaigns i believe that their campaigns are good uh make just make the campaigns infinity tard let let trader touch multiplayer zombies and sledgehammer i think can be a support studio that listen to the community feedback because i will give them that i will give i think this is the positive this is the only positive i can think of for all the studios sledgehammer games good for listening to the feedback infinity tard good for the campaigns Trek is also amazing for campaigns don't get me wrong i think Trek can do everything on its own but right now we're in like 
like a different state because we don't have Jason Blundell. I'm not sure if Jason Blundell was around when Call of Duty 2020 came out. I am not sure, but now obviously he's not there. And also David Wanderhar has quit. Oh shit! He has left or uh in August of 2023. He might have a little bit, surely he would have some involvement on, in Call of Duty 2024. We're going to see some of his work, but you got to wonder why he quit, right? Have what was the ultimate multiplayer setup, in my opinion, and it's never been any better than the Pick 10 Creator Class system. The Thank you for subscribing, Martin. Appreciate it. Big man, Big W, legend. Thank you. Brother. Fight game mode and, of course, round-based zombies. Now, it's unclear currently if the carry forward that we have currently will also be a thing from next year's COD into this this COD, and that's all due to the significant time jump and change to the game's overall strategy, with one of his sources saying that this is a completely new game. And honestly, that excites me even more so than it appearing as just a year two game or DLC for Black Ops Golf War. So to make this absolutely clear for those that may still be confused, next year we are getting Black Ops Golf War, which is going to have round based zombies. Then in 2025, we're getting a sequel to Black Ops 2 which will yes, also sir. contain round-based zombies maps. But don't say new game to me, bro. Don't say new game to me. Activision and new... It doesn't work! You cannot put new and Activision. The new game and Activision in the same sentence, bro. New and Call of Duty doesn't go together, bro. It doesn't go together, dog. And I imagine we'll also continue on the story from next year's Black Ops Golf War. So there's just a lot of Black Ops to look forward to over the next few years. Now, we cannot talk about this with without talking about the prospect of seeing remastered zombies maps in the game, along with the fact yeah. that there are going to be remastered multiplayer maps. Now, oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, Zombie Chronicles 2, because listen, for the longest amount of time, my brothers were like, we're going to get Zombie Chronicles 2 in Black Ops 4. Didn't happen. Didn't, <laughs> didn't happen. Then we're like, we're going to get it a year after Black Ops 4. Didn't happen. Oh. Then seconds were like, it's going to happen with Black Ops Cold War. Didn't happen. Oh. And in 2023, I mean, we're in 2024 right now. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Oh. Where is it going to happen? And now I think seconds are like, we're going to get it. And, and I think this time, realistically, um, no, I, I don't guys hear me out hear me out I think this time realistically we can get zombie chronicles 2 with black ops 2025 uh, because it's gonna be a black ops 2 remake and they're already gonna have remaster map so why not have it and to be honest they already have worked on zombie chronicles why not why not have that with black ops 2025 as well I think that would be solid they can they simply got a report over in 2024 if I or 2025 if I with the end or whatever engine they're gonna use they obviously gotta make sure it runs with the engine I think it would be solid if they re bring back black uh, zombie chronicles 1 because they already have remastered they would have to touch up on it sure but I, I think they they should like the video if you agree we have discussed and spoken about Zombies Chronicles 2 for so many years. Obviously, it never happened for Black Ops 4. It wasn't going to happen for Black Ops Cold War. But clearly, Treyarch even acknowledged the fact that the community are super hungry for a Zombies Chronicles 2. And they know that it would sell well, no matter when they do it. I hope and they with don't the ruin fact it. That this game is I just hope they don't ruin its HUD and the hit markers. Because Zombies is all about immersion. It's just a little stuff. Uh, because when they turn Zombies into multiplayer, that's when it just doesn't work work because you look at this is black ops 2 buried uh dlc 3 right i remember apocalypse is what it was called i remember uh when it first came out i i do remember i do remember when its trailer dropped i uploaded its trailer and that video banged like crazy 100k views on that i still have that memory uh, uh yeah it's I still remember I played it day one, I loved it, I enjoyed it. Uh, and the entire reason Zombies was so like memorable and so good and unique was because it was different from multiplayer. It didn't felt like multiplayer, but Black Ops Cold War Zombies, I'm sorry to say, I like its gameplay, but I'm sorry to say it feels like a multiplayer and that's why I don't like it that much. Oh, Black Ops 2 Zombies, Black Ops 3 Zombies, it actually felt Zombie Zombies. I hope they have a Zombies crew going for the dog and come on man like make sure the hut is good as well because uh, you know immersion ever heard of that is going to be a sequel to black ops 2 but contain remastered multiplayer maps i see no better opportunity than that game for them to put 
Zombies Chronicles 2, or the equivalent of it in there with remastered Black Ops 2 Zombies maps, which means from the list that we currently have never seen remastered, which are Transit, Die Rise, and Buried. And yeah. like, this is the most perfect opportunity that I've ever seen for them to find. I hope they bring back Mob of the Dead as well. Finally make this a possibility. But furthermore, we know we're getting round-based Zombies maps back again next year. It's rumored that we're getting two on launch. We can assume to get a further four throughout the season so we're gonna have six I, I do hope they just dish the two new maps idea i hope they go with three Bro. you know what i mean and guys click on this video on the screen we had a massive bombshell report this is a massive leak it's gonna guys click on this video on the screen this is to do with skill based match oh, a new video just got leaked Click on this video on the screen. On the left, though, we got all the ultra-realistic games that are coming out in 2024. Check both of these videos out, and I will see you right now.